Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video on how to um, script. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make anti-gravity blocks and just to show you it works, I've made a little demonstration. Let's see how it works. Alright, great. So as you can see, <laughs> it exploded and now the parts are floating everywhere at the speed that they were hit. So. I'm going to show you how to make this today. Not the structure I built, but just the block itself, just the script. So this script you can just put in um, any part and it should theoretically make it no grav. So go ahead and scale it to how we want it. By the way, the bigger it is, the harder it is to move around. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. Right click on the part insert object and put in a script. So delete this and now we're on to the, the actual scripting part. So now we're going to put in a variable to reference this part. It's going to be local part equals script dot parent. And remember it's always case sensitive so whenever I capitalize you capitalize with me or it won't work. So now we're going to calculate the downwards gravity force, um, local down force with a capital F equals negative part get mass parentheses and star workspace, go ahead and enter right there, um, dot gravity, gravity is capitalized. <clears throat> Next we're going to put in the force we want to apply and that will be negative because it is no grav, um, local force equals negative down force, of course with the capital F, or it won't work. Um, now we're going to go ahead and enter this line in, body force equals instance dot new. Spelled that right? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, now we're going to go ahead and name that um, body force that's already in there for us. All right, so now we're going to apply the force to this um, to the axis. Um, body force in there for us. Dot force equals vector three. That's already there. Dot new. Now parentheses zero comma force comma zero. All right. Now we're going to add the parent to the body force. Body force dot parent equals part. Now, this should in theory work. Make the part no grav. Is it near the middle? Yes, it is. Make it easier to reach when we actually run it. All right. Yep, it's working. So now, whenever I push this, it should just move infinitely in the direction I pushed it. Yep. Now you can insert this script that I just um, showed you into any part and it should end up like that part right there. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. This was um, how to make a no grav part. Um, yeah, leave a like if you if you like the video. It really helps me out. Also subscribe and uh, comment on what you'd like to see next what would be most um, convenient for you. Uh, if not, then I'll just keep on cranking out videos. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see ya.